Hi everybody, today we're going to build the Wizard Estes Rocket Kit. This is a little bit different than the kits we've used in the past, which had three, four, or five fins. This one's a three-fin configuration. It's only a three-fin configuration. Hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier for everybody to install. Uh, the contents of the kit are the, the Wizard instructions. These are very important, They include, and they even include a couple of tools that you need to cut out and use along with it. The fuselage for the rocket itself recovery system which consists of the rubber band and a, a streamer to help slow the descent the nose cone and the the uh, cap that the recovery system connects to the fins mine kind of broke apart a little bit when i took them out of the package but that's okay they'll still work just fine and if you're uh if you like to uh here's some stickers that you can put on the rocket to make it look a little bit nicer this last piece is, is the engine block installation kit. This piece actually is the only part of, of the what looks like the rocket that we, do, we absolutely don't want to stay inside the rocket. We'll show you how to use this later to put this kit in because the last little bit you have is this little engine block piece. It's a little green circle and this helps, this helps to push this piece in. So let's get started. Here's some tools we like to use in order to put the rocket together. We use the school glue for, for the engine block, this super glue with the gel control, uh, because the gel control stuff keeps the super glue where you put it. Uh, we use this for the, uh, the wings. You'll use the scotch tape in a couple of different places, so having a roll handy is, easy, is good. And then we, I use these craft sticks for placing glue in a couple of places that are really, really hard to reach. My kids and I like to use spray paint in order to paint up our fuselages and a lot of other projects we do in Cub Scouts. So we use this, uh, use the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch stuff. But the big thing here is, is that we like to use this, uh, this little handle that attaches to the top of the cans. It makes it easier for smaller hands to, to push the buttons down to spray. I know there are a lot of instructions in the instruction manual, but unfortunately f following them is actually something you really need to do. Otherwise, this ro rocket isn't going to launch very well. I would strongly recommend reading through all of the instructions before starting, because if you don't, you're going to probably end up uh, doing something out of order like I do, and then maybe m messing it up like I usually do. There are a couple pieces here that will help you install things on your rocket. This left part here is for helping you place the wings on the rocket and this is actually part of the recovery chute uh, setup as well so you'll end up in, you'll end up cutting these two things out but don't do that until you absolutely need them step one is usually install is installing this the cap in the nose cone but certainly if you want to do this now this that's a good idea preparing the fins is very important especially if you want to install the fins either pointing out by using one of the short sides or being closer to the fuselage uh, by using one of the one of the longer sides, you want to make sure that the mating surface is good and smooth. So, if you, they're showing a little bit of sandpaper here to do that. I would always suggest making sure that you've painted these before you go through this process because handling all of this can be kind of a pain later. New for this year is a little bit easier installation of the fins on the rocket. This the marking tool that we showed on on the first page wraps around the rocket, and then all you have to do is mark a little bit of pencil on the side of the rocket so that you can show, see where the fins are gonna end up going. Uh, we'll show you that here in a second. So what we're gonna do is we cut out that thing from the front, uh, from the front page, and we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna put a little piece of tape. You can see the tape here at the top. We're gonna put a little piece of tape right up here at the top. Now you'll see they're marked FL, FL, FL. Those are for the fin lines. And this is for the launch, this LL, this dotted line is for the launch lug, which we'll show you a little bit later. In fact, we'll install that the day of because they came in a different package. So we're going to put this on the rocket. We're going to wrap it around like this. And you'll notice it's going to cover up a little bit on the marked area and go into place. After that, all we have to do is mark our fin lines. That fin line, we'll skip the launch lug line for right now. We'll put that fin line there. And we're gonna put that fin line there. And then the last step of these instructions tell you to go over to a door frame 
and extend down the line a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this piece off. You're going to still see your little marking that you made there. And then what we're going to put, do is put this in a door jam and draw a little line down. We'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, so here's the door frame. What we're going to do is we're going to line up this dot that we made earlier with kind of the door frame in such a way that the pencil will follow the door frame. So what we're going to do is just touch it and then just run it straight down that door frame. We'll run it a couple of times so you can see that it's got a nice little line there. And then we're going to rotate it and do the same thing over and over again. The next thing we're going to do is install the engine block inside the fuselage. This engine block goes in to inside the tube so that we can make sure that the, the engine itself does not come out of the top of the rocket when it fires off. This engine block installer tool is very important for doing that, and let's show you how to prepare that now. So the instructions tell you to mark off a quarter inch on the end of this tube to match up the tube with the that you're going to end up matching up to the bottom of the rocket. What's really convenient is that this is is a quarter of an inch as well. So if you take your pencil and you take your rocket. You make a little mark like this, that's a quarter of an inch. So if you push, when you push the engine block into the fuselage, if you run up to that line right there, you should be good. So all you have to do after that is just make a nice little line around it so that you can see it from all sides. And I just hold the pen pencil and roll it forward until it matches up on the other end. In our kits, we use these A83 engines, and you can see they're the exact same size as the installation tool for the, the engine block. So if this engine, if this tool gets glued into place, this won't go inside your rocket and the rocket can't be launched. It's really hard to remove these after they've been glued in, so you need to be very, very careful. So now we're gonna install the engine block into the fuselage. The important thing here is to make sure we've got our fuselage, the engine block itself, the engine block installation tool, and the Elmer school glue. This will take a little bit less or a little bit longer to set up, so this makes it real nice to go in uh, go in the engine blo engine block. So we're going to pick this this particular end as the bottom of the rocket and the, the place where that we're going to install the engine block. So we want to take a little bit of the Elmer's glue and put it on the end of the this craft stick. And then I use, remember, we're going to line up this line to the bottom of the fuselage. So I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to stick it to the side and just give it a nice spin to coat it. And then kind of roll it a couple of times, maybe. And then the glue should be in there. And then we'll take this, slide it gently into the end of the, end of the tube. And then we're going to push this into place like that. Remember, we're removing this. So now you can see that it's now installed inside the end of the rocket. This is also the end we want to use for the fins. Attaching the fins to the rocket is the, the time when we use this gel control super glue is because this dries up very quickly. I know they show the white glue here, but and, and that'll work fine too. But the this gel control dries up very, very quickly and it'll set pretty quickly as well. So you put a little bit on the edge there and stick it to the side of the rocket. I'm gonna build my rocket using the long sides up against the up against the rocket fuselage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack these three up real quick. So they're all nice and even. I'm gonna put this long side down and on my sandpaper, I'm just gonna rub it a couple of times to knock off the little nubs that were left by the balsa wood connectors. Now, I may want to clean up these others just to make it look nice, and I'll probably go, just go ahead and do that real quick too. That's pretty smooth. It'll, be, it'll work for what we're gonna do. Now, we've still got our line here that we just, we just marked on the door frame. And I'm going to go ahead and attach a little bit of super glue to this fin. So we're just going to lie down a little bead along the edge here. 
get a couple of spots that I missed. And then we're just going to lay it down right along that line. Now if you have to move it around a little bit, that's okay. I also end up aligning it a little bit and making sure it's straight up and down. At this point, I usually hang this off the side of a table, put the, putting the edge of the table right here so that this can hang and dry for a little bit and set before we go on to the next one. So we're finished with the installation of all the fins now. You can see they're all relatively straight um, and they follow the lines that we created earlier. Um, this is probably about uh, half an hour, 45 minutes after uh, I attached all of these and they're in pretty good in pretty good shape. They're not moving very well and should stay together at least for the first flight. Let's hope it makes it more than just more than just one. Okay, now we're going to build the recovery system. It consists of this streamer to help slow things down, this rubber band that helps to deploy this, the the setup, a nose cone and the nose cone's attachment point. And this little piece that gets cut out of the first page of the, the instruction manual. You'll need that in order to attach this to the body here in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is set this stuff aside. And we're going to just go ahead and attach these two things. If you haven't already done this, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the super glue. We're going to put it on the end of this. And I just usually end up putting like three dots here. So we're going to put a little dot here. And we're going to rotate it a little bit, put a little, another little dot right here, and then one more. Hopefully you can see those little dots hanging off the side. I'm going to stick that there. And then all I do from here is take this, place it in the end, give it a quick rotate, and you can kind of see where it's smearing a little bit maybe. And it will lock down almost immediately. And what we want to do is make sure that we clean up the mess that's kind of sticking out the side just so that it's nice and smooth. And voila, it's done. All right, while that nose code's setting up, we'll go ahead and attach the recovery line to this piece that we cut out. Now, what we want to do first is just go ahead and fold along these lines. What this is going to do is it's going to capture the end of that rubber band and attach it to the side of the fuselage on the inside so that we can pack everything in there. You just want to kind of gently fold across those lines and then we're going to unfurl it again in, in a second. What's nice is it's numbered one, two, three. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little dot super glue there on the end, right here. And what I do is I stick this on here very gently. Give it a second, and then I go ahead and I fold over that piece. And if I flip it over, you'll see three is still there, two is underneath this little piece, and that thing that's flipped over there is one. So we'll go ahead and throw a little bit more on there. This is that step four right there. We're gonna flip it over. Oops, not that way. We're gonna flip this over onto here. And give it a good press. That should be good and set now. And looks feels like it. I'm holding just the paper and I'm kind of giving a tug on that part there. So we're good there. On to the next step. Our nose cone's set up now. So it's not that cap's not coming off. So we want to attach this to the the line. Now for you wolves, you should be doing you should be learning your square knots. So we're gonna do right over left, left over right. Okay, so right over left under and through now let's do that again right over left under and through all right and we're going to give that a good pull and then we're going to do left over right pull that through now we got a good little square knot there in the end that could be a little bit tighter i could have done a bit, slightly better job with that but for the most part that's that'll that'll end up working now for the last part, it's just attaching this streamer to this line. And if you look on the instructions, it's asking you to keep about two inches between the end of this cap 
and the streamer. And it just so happens that every square here is a, is a half inch. So this is about two inches from the end of that streamer. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of tape. And we're going to attach it. One, we're going to attach it one, two, three, four. So right here. We're going to attach it right to that line right there. And I'm going to put a little tape right on the inside of this to kind of hold everything in place and fold it over a little bit, and that should hold it okay, but I'm one of those people that likes to throw a little extra tape on things just to be safe. So I make a little bit longer piece here. I'll put it over the end like that. I'll just fold this over. And that should be more than enough. It's probably a little bit overkill, but, you know, it didn't really hurt anybody. So at this point, we have a recovery system that's ready to be, re be installed in a rocket. Okay, now it's time for this last step where we're going to put the recovery system, specifically this little part, inside the fuselage. Now, the instructions say to measure off about an inch and a half, and so what I've done is I've created this little stick and marked off about an inch and a half that I've labeled shoot. You can notice that I put a little notch here in the end so that it will catch on to this so that when I slide this part in, I can use this to push it in as, as far as it needs to go. And I use that line to keep me uh, keep me from putting the piece in too deep. So what we're going to do, we're going to use some of our super glue again. And I'm just going to dab a little bit on the inside of this. And that's more than enough. And then we're going to gently place this on the inside curving it to match what we're going to do. And so all we're going to do is use this stick and the shoot end to tell us how far in it needs to go. So we're just going to slide it in there and it's kind of hanging out inside the piece there. And then I use the stick again to kind of push it up against the wall and hold it there for a minute. Push it up against the wall and hold it there for a minute. Sorry, that was off camera. And you probably can't see it real well just yet, but it's now stuck. You can kind of see that little bit of white right in there, it's stuck against the side. You can see all the way through my engine block is down on this end. Engine block's down there. You can kind of see it down in that area. And this is the other end. And because of the super glue, it's all good and tight in there already. So it's ready. This is. Rocket's pretty much ready to launch. All we got to do is stick some wadding in the top to protect this part from the engine. We'll end up taking this, taking these engines like this. We've got a little piece we have to put in the end that, uh, that does the igniter. This will slide in on the end here, stick out just a little bit, and we'll apply some electricity, and this will launch up in the air about 100, 150 feet. It should be something, should be really cool. All right, everyone, this is this is the assembled kit. This is the, the nose cone, the fuselage, and the, and the fins. We've got the A83 style engine that will be inserted into the end of the rocket like this. And the other thing you didn't get was this launch lug. And what this is is just a little thing that goes on the side of the rocket like this that allows us to, to launch the ro rockets up right. We'll install those the day of the launch so you don't have to worry about that. We'll throw some super glue on there and it'll be great. This kit took me about a half hour to install because I didn't do any painting or anything like that. And I've, of course, built a couple of these over the over the years. I expect this will probably take a good a good bit of an hour to hour and a half, and it could certainly be sp spread over a couple of days. Once we launch these, um, they'll go up about 100, 150 feet. So we'll see you all on launch day.